Yes, we do have some special guests joining us in studio today. This Saturday, it's going to be a great day for a dog walk in the park. And here to talk about this year's Corgis in the Park event. That's Valiant, in case we need to. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have Vixen and Valiant. Thank you for joining us today. So Corgis in the Park, it's, it's raising money for Paws with a Cause. And that's how Valiant is involved as well. So that's right. Tell us a little bit about it. Fourth year for this. It's our fourth year. It's an exciting. It's it. This is my uh, this is my Christmas. So yes, um, it's so we fun. gather together probably three to four hundred corgis from around the multi-state area um, for uh, a few hours of fun in, in Riverside Park, including a costume contest. I love that. Uh, we've got a ball field rented that's enclosed so the dogs can come in and get off the leash. Uh, we're selling t-shirts. Grand Valley has an acapella group performing. Uh, there'll be food trucks. But really, the whole focus this year is our absolute need for puppy raisers for Paws with a Cause. Sure. So getting that message out there that that's what you guys need. Right. We have over a hundred pups that are going to hit the ground in the next few months. Wow. And we need foster puppy raisers to bring them into their home like I have with Valiant <laughs> and uh, oh give them a goodness. great start to becoming a, an assistance dog. So cute. I yeah. mean, both of them adorable. Tell me about the costume contest. Now, this is the fourth year and is growing every year. It, it is growing every year and we're counting on a great weather report for Saturday. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm insisting on that. So. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, the costume contest will start about 1230. In fact, uh, your own Ellen Baca and Emily Leonard will yes. be celebrity judges. Once again. Um, they, uh, Ellen especially has been with us from the beginning. So, yeah. Yeah. This is, it's, it's a lot of fun. So get as creative as you want to. We've got prizes from our main sponsor, Chow Hound, which we couldn't do this without them. So prizes, uh, trophies, gift bags for the dogs. That the first hundred gift bags or first hundred dogs that show up get gift bags. Um, yeah, but without Chow Hound, impossible to do this. So the Corgi... Um costume contest is happening but some people want to just come out and bring their dog if they don't have a corgi and I know that you in the past you've been like usually this is a corgi event but can't turn a dog away. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be the the dog police I mean it's really intended to be a, a corgi only event um, but the idea is to if you're gonna come out bring your dog in a costume and uh, put a few dollars in the pot for for paws with a cause five dollars or whatever you can afford to uh, to put towards the effort. Well, certainly a popular event, and I'm sure this year will be just as popular, if not more. The costume contest is just so fun to see all the dogs dressed up. It's just a blast, and hopefully raise a lot of money for Paws with the Cause. Thank you both for joining us. We really appreciate it today, and good Thank luck you. on Saturday. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks so much.